Hello, so this is Brian Germain and I'm going to show you some kiting tricks. Now I've got two different canopies here uh, that I'm going to fly. They're both samurai canopies, which is a nine cell elliptical that I make, but um, one has airlocks and one doesn't. So you get to see kind of what the differences are. So let's, uh, right now I've got it on the rear risers. Um, so I've got it, you know, staying on the ground because of the tail input. So I'm going to wait for a little bit of a gust, and I'm going to pull it up on the fronts. So the trick is, of course, you got to pressurize it. And sometimes that means you got to increase the angle of attack and then decrease it. So you're going to oscillate up and down using the fronts and the rears, maybe. There's lots of different ways to do it. OK, so parachute's up over my head and feeling pretty good. It's a little turbulent, but it's not a bad day to be doing this kind of thing. Um, the difference I wanted to show you that I've noticed in flying, because I've jumped this very canopy exactly as it is, no changes, is if you notice here, I'm not doing anything and kind of tends to lose, yeah, <laughs> pressurization uh, from time to time. So let's see if I can pull it up again. And, wow, come on, there you go. So I haven't done anything to fix that end cell closure. Uh, if I hit the rears, it should clear. There you go. So, wow, right? Um, now, the other thing that I... Wow! <laughs> yeah, so stability um, is never perfect. You know, it doesn't matter what the wing is. But if you notice, because the air can leave the cells whenever it feels like it, in turbulence, an airlock canopy tends to uh, be a little more which you might call resilient. Um, it doesn't tend to flop all around, but um, you'll notice when I when I fly the airlock, when it, I mean, it's not perfect, but you'll notice it is quite a bit different. Here, I'm going to sort of shake this one around a little bit, give you a sense of <laughs> what an open cell canopy tends to do um, when it hits turbulence. Now, obviously, you got to fly the parachute well. You got to fly coordinated turns. You can't let it surge. Um, aggressively in front of you. You gotta hit the brakes when that happens. Tap on them real sharp. But of course the best thing you can do is maintain airspeed and even more importantly, good discipline <laughs> and only jump when, oh look at that's kinda ugly. <laughs> only jump when the conditions are appropriate. Um, so, okay, so I've got an airlock SAM here. I'm going to pressurize it with the tail first, and I'm going to flip it over, let the canopy pressurize. So with any parachute, it takes a moment to fill up with air, but once the airlock canopy is pressurized, you'll notice that um, although it's capable of moving around, if I sort of bounce it, it wants to stay, you know, kind of in its good shape. It might get an end cell closure for a second, but it doesn't do it for long because it still has thickness, right? It still has uh, a contained volume of air that uh, that will keep it happy. So I'm going to let it fly past me just a little bit here. That's when it goes negative. Let it collapse. You can see inside what the airlocks do is the air, the air goes in, but it can't get out. It doesn't really affect packing. But gosh, uh, <laughs> you can really see, these. look at all the sand in there. We kite this one on the beach sometimes, so it's filled with sand, which makes it, uh, I think, probably less stable is my guess. But uh, you can see, even when it lays on the ground, it's still pressurized. And this is a very old parachute. You know, this is, I built this literally in like 99 or 2000. Um, it's got jumps on it, it's had experiments done on it, but it still flies nice, even though it's a little bit permeable. You know, let's kind of let it dance around on its own. I'm trying to give it a good chance. And the other one never would have been able to <laughs> maintain uh, a good airfoil under these exact conditions. There you go. You can see the the wing is wanting to stay pressurized. And if it loses some, some pressurization or loses some shape, it still has thickness to the airfoil at the highest point, which is 
is where you generate your lift. You know, a smooth curve is what uh, causes lift. So there you go, airlocks, they do the job. All right, I'll see you. Okay, okay. Looking good. All right. Well, we got. It looks like a parachute. So why don't you do a 180 to the left, please? I'm on your left side. I think it. Okay. There you go. We bumped the radio. So why don't you go ahead and rear riser up to my level? Rise up to your level with the rear risers. Yep. Let's see if I can. Here we go. Hey, we're going up somewhere. There you go, a little bit. Keep going, a little more deeper. Now keep on going. Just go ahead and stall it. Huh? There oh, you go. There it, there it is. Let it up. Good job. Okay, I'm going to come over to the other side and you go ahead and do that again. Do that again. Rear ride. Again. Yeah, go ahead and do that rear riser stall again. Alright, here we go. Go ahead. Coming more, up. more, more. Come up, come up, come up. Woo, okay. there it is. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> All right. Okay, now we're going to hang out side by side for a moment. Okay. I'm a little bit faster than you, but not much. Okay, so add a little bit of brakes. Come, hey. on, come on up. Add some brakes. There's some bumpity bumpity. Okay, so now we're going to do a 180 to the right side. 180 to the right. And go. Switch your head, look over at me, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, and stop. There you are. <laughs> We're rock stars! Ah. Good, I don't see too much traffic except the guy from the left. Uh, so let's, your rat. Yeah, let's do a, a 180 left now. 180 left. And go, 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 go. Keep going. Oh, you still there? There we go. Bump, bump the comms again. Oh, okay. All right, so that's pretty cool. It's weird when we're bouncing around like this. It's kind of normal that people feel funny. So, so, yep, now add some rears. Add a little rears, spread them out. Improve that glide. There you go, improve that glide. Improve that glide, add those rear risers. On the rear risers? Yeah, improve the glide. Look where I am, I'm in front of you and higher. Add, there you go, nice. There you are. I nice job, okay. Now, we're going to do, let me move a little bit over to you. Hold your heading for just a sec. Okay. Altitude, just over three. All right, so we're going to flare with the rear. You're going to do rear riser flare. I'm going to do toggle flare. Ready? Ready? Okay. And flare with the rears. Yeah, that worked. Don't let it stall. Okay. Pretty good. Notice a little surge at the end when you let it up. Okay, so 3,000. Start a right turn for a little while. Keep on turning smooth. To the right? Yep, and keep going right. Go. Keep going. A little sharper. Keep going right. Keep going right. A little sharper. Head switch. Look at me. There you go. Keep turning right. A little sharper right. A little sharper right. Keep going. There you go. There you go. I see. <laughs> you see what we're doing? Yeah. A little sharper for a sec. There you go. A little sharper right. Nice, good job. All right, you can point towards the drop zone. Wow. <laughs> These open cell canopies sure do jellyfish around. Yes, they do. I'm not used to it. <laughs> 23 years of airlock parachutes. I'm kind of spoiled, I think. Ah. But it flies. It's stable-ish. Ish. Ish. <laughs> ish. <laughs> well, I love the ish. Ish. But it's it's a good it's the same parachute I've been jumping for years. It just doesn't keep its air. So I gotta keep the speed just like you do, right? You keep your air speed up, and when you go through the lumpy bumpy air, it doesn't bounce you around as much. 
Yeah. And it's less likely to give you a funky, you know, collapsy thingy. Thingy. All right. God, it's fun, isn't it? And to be able to share the experience by talking. It's really, oh, yeah. so, it's something else, isn't it? Oh. Da, 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 da. Are you not down yet? What are you doing? No, I'm flying around. Well, I'm on <laughs> 150. It's a lot of parachute. Oh, it's taking you a long time, man. That's why, yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah, just keep the speed up. You're almost there. It doesn't count. What do you mean it doesn't count? It doesn't count. That's what I was, is, isn't that what I was supposed to do? Well, I don't know. You didn't really call it. <laughs> I always call it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 my way of calling that I'm going to try to hit the target is I pull. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. But yeah, if there are some thermals. Don't let it bug you. Just keep your speed up, keep flying the parachute, and if you need to make corrections, do it primarily harness with okay. gentle toggle inputs. Okay. Now you're looking down to the right, you know, trying to get an idea of the angle. Right, a little harness here. Yeah. Looks pretty good to me. Yeah. That's nice. Not bad. If you notice I angle just a little bit into the wind. Right, yeah. right. Why not? It's not cheating. You got this. Leaning forward, you see flare, finish, 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 finish. Nice. Yeah, it's better. Really good. 